Hello friends, welcome back to our new video that is MCQs on Applied Microbiology and this is the part 2 of this series of videos on Applied Microbiology. So the first question of this video is which of the following is choice of antibiotic in bedridden patient in ICU with cauti that means catheter associated urinary tract infection and VAP that is ventilator associated pneumonia in India and the options are amoxicillin, beta lactams or beta lactamase inhibitors or third generation cephalosporin or second generation cephalosporin and the right one is option B that is beta lactams and or beta lactamase inhibitors. So, beta lactams or beta lactamase inhibitors are the choice of antibiotic in bedridden patient in ICU with catheter associated urinary tract infection and ventilator associated pneumonia in India. Okay. So, move on to the next question. So, next one is preformed toxin is Staphylococcus aureus exotoxin or emetic toxin of bacillus cereus or clostridial clostridium botulinum toxin or all of the above and the right answer is option d that is all of the above so preformed toxin is all of these toxins are preformed toxins okay so next question kya hai dekhenge next question hai food poisoning occurs in six to seven hours by all except staphylococcus is Estrasia coli or Clostridium or Bacillus cereus and the right answer is option B that is Estrasia coli. So food poisoning occurs in 6 to 7 hours by all except E. coli. Okay so move on to the next one. Next question kya hai? So next question hai. Which of the following fermentation process is used in the production of penicillin and the options are aerobic fermentation followed by anaerobic fermentation or anaerobic fermentation or aerobic fermentation or anaerobic fermentation followed by aerobic fermentation and the right answer is option C that is aerobic fermentation. So aerobic fermentation <coughs> so for fermentation aerobic fermentation process is used in the production of penicillin okay. So let's move on to the next question. That is food poisoning in canned food is caused by Staphylococcus or Salmonella or by Clostridium botulinum or Bacillus cereus. So the right answer is option C that is Clostridium botulinum. So food poisoning in canned food is caused by Clostridium botulinum. Okay. So chaliye next question dekhenge. So next question hai. Traveler's diarrhea is caused by Shigella, Escherichia coli or Entamoeba histolytica or GR disease and the right one is option B that is Escherichia coli. So travel, traveler's diarrhea is caused by Escherichia coli. Okay. So next question dekhenge abhi. So next question hai. The most common pathogens responsible for nosocomial Pneumoniasis in the ICU are gram positive organisms, gram negative organisms, mycoplasma or virus infections and the right one is option B that is gram negative organisms. So the most common pathogens responsible for nosocomial pneumoniasis in the ICU are gram negative organisms. So let's move on to the next one that is probiotics are useful for Necrotizing enterocolitis or break, uh, breast milk jaundice or hospital acquired pneumonia or neonatal scissors. So the right one is option A that is necrotizing enterocolitis. So probiotics are useful for necrotizing enter, uh, enterocolitis. Okay. So next question here. Which of the following species is used for producing streptomycin and the options are S. ramusus or S. gracius or S. 
orofacians or s graciflavus and the right answer is option b that is s gracious so s gracious species is used for producing streptomycin okay so next question here biosafety precaution grade 3 is practiced in all the following organisms except human influenza virus st louis encephalitis virus or coxiella barnetti or mycobacterium tuberculosis and the right answer is option a that is human influenza virus is the exception so biosafety precaution grade 3 is practiced in all of the following organisms that is uh, St. Louis encephalitis virus, coxilla, bar, uh, barnetti or mycobacterium tuberculosis for all but the exception is human influenza virus. Okay, so move on to the next one. So most effective method of protection from infected body fluids is gown, goggles, gloves or mask and the right one is option C that is gloves. So glove is the Gloves are the most effective method of protection from infected body fluids. Okay. So, next one kya hai? So, next question hai. 38 children consumed eatables procured from a single source at a picnic party. So, 20 children developed abdominal cramp followed by vomiting and watery dry dia 6 to 10 hours after the party. So, the most likely etiology for the outbreak is rotavirus infection, enterotoxigenic E. coli infection or staphylococcal toxin or clostridium perfringens infection and the right answer is option D that is clostridium perfringens infection. So, so, here the most likely etiological etiology for the outbreak is clostridium perfringens infection okay so move on to the next one that is zoonotic disease are all except typhoid anthrax rabies or q fever and the right answer is option a that is typhoid so typhoid is not a zoonotic disease but the other three options are examples of zoonotic disease okay so move on to the next one next question is post disaster which of the following does not spread as epidemic and the options are leptospirosis food poisoning leishmaniasis or rickettsia and the right answer uh, sorry and the last one is acute respiratory infection and the right one is option c that is leishmaniasis so leishmaniasis is the it does not spread as epidemic okay so post disaster this leishmaniasis <coughs> does not spread as epidemic okay so move on to the next one it is common natural flora of skin are streptococcus staphylococcus aureus or candida albicans or propionibacterium acne or all of the above and the right one is option e that is all of the above so all of this organisms are common natural flora of skin so move on to the next question that is in the gut anaerobic bacteria outnumber the aerobes by a ratio of 10 is to 1 100 is to 1 1000 is to 1 or 10000 is to 1 and the right one is option c that is 1000 is to 1 so in gut anaerobic bacteria outnumber the aerobes by a ratio of 1000 is to 1 okay so next question kya hai that is most common commensal gut flora in adult is lactobacillus or bacteroids or escherichia coli or klebsiella and the right answer is option b that is bacteroids so bacteroids are the most common commensal bacteria bacterial flora which are present in gut okay so move on to the next question that is which of the following drug is commonly used for community acquired pneumonia in opd and the options are vancomycin ceftriazone 
azithromycin or streptomycin and the right answer is option c that is azithromycin so azithromycin is a drug which is commonly used for community acquired pneumonia in opd so move on to the next one it is fever with rash fear sorry fever with rash is caused by streptococcus pyogens salmonella typhi menin meningococcus or all of the above and the right answer is option d all of the above so all of these organisms cause fever with rash sorry rash and the last question of this video is which of the following is the process of anaerobic degradation of proteinaceous material and options are respiration fermentation putrefaction or all of the above and the right answer is option c that is putrefaction so putrefaction is the process of anaerobic degradation of proteinaceous material okay so these are all 20 questions of this part 2 video on applied microbiology okay so thank you for watching this video